pie sále. Sally, I like to help her. That's good of you. Oh my, you've made a lovely job hanging this. Don't think you're supposed to be here, though, are you? To the garden, eh? Ah, but I was going to. Come on, to the garden. Could that I was a good him? lad. You'll see her at lunchtime. Aye. How you been, Donald? Sorry, lad. You okay now? Aye. Hey. Here. You work here. Come on. Alec? Anything you think you need for the fit? Nah. Don't think so, Bill. Sure. The garden's looking good. Aye. Oh. What's up with Donald? What's oh. wrong, Donald? He's just back to the toilet. Sir Bella. You want to go again? Away you go then. I hope he makes it. Aye. Right. Miss Green? Miss Green? Donald Bruce. What on earth are you doing in here? Going to the toilet. Donald, I tell lies. I'm not. Hey, come on, out, and don't come back. You. Don't you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got my bird book? Right, well, let's see who can name the most birds. Sir? Yes, Wally? Can we play football? No. What are these birds called? Oh, Very good. I don't know what nests are that one. Hey! We're gone to the beach to see the seals. Not yet, you're not. We'll go later if we've time. And what's that bird called? Swan. Swan. Very good. See if you can find it in the book. No, no. What could you tell me about a swan? It's big. Bigger than what? Bigger than a hen. Yes, Sally? It has white feathers. You're very good at colours, aren't you, Sally? Now remember, a swan's feathers are right. white. Right. 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 It's my daddy. Oh, Sally. It's a machine that flies. It's not. It's my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold, I think we've had enough of birds for today. Let's go down to the beach. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah.
darling. Hello. You look tired. Of course. Glad to be back. Oh. Not what we had. Never mind, you have a fortnight to recover. Which I'm going to spend doing absolutely nothing. Keep your promises. Fancy some tea? Oh, thank you. Roy oh, hasn't got one like this. What's on fate day? Of course. What day? There's a fate at Sally's school on Saturday. Ah. But we can come too, can we? Yes. Must come. Good. I didn't fancy going alone. By the way, did you go to this parents' association meeting? No. Well, why ever not? Oh, you know how I am with strangers. Sally, go and wash yourself. Sally. Let her enjoy a present. It's the same every time you come home. Her discipline just goes. Well, do I get a kiss for it? No? moody lately. Wash properly. Want a drink? No. Are you being too hard on her? I have to be. She's just a little excited. Sorry. I just get fed up stuck here all the time. I tell you what, let's go out for a meal. I like that. Get the glad rags on then. What about Sally? We'll take her with us. Some other night, perhaps. I have a casserole in the oven. Well, we could get some on him. If we don't eat it now, it'll be spoiled.
I don't know about you, Jean. I'm getting bloody fed up being stuck here in the house every time I come home on leave. How do you think I feel? Where are you going? I'm going to put my sister. See if she'll come up here for a couple of weeks. From London? We'll pay her fare. It's too far. Can you see her passing up the chance of a cheap holiday? You're the one who should be here. Come on now, Jean. Be fair. I need some help with her. People have offered to help you. You keep turning them away. I don't want your sister. It's you. What is the matter? Come on now, what is it? Dinner doodle. Okay, cheerio, mommy. And the traffic too. Cheerio. Then. Is the tea ready? <laughs> you can smell the tea pot a mile away. Have you enough to eat? One of Bella's scones. Oh, God, I'd like that. Yeah, give the pot a chance to brew. Come and give us a hand with this net. Are you feeling strong today? Aye. Look at that. Mm. All right, take the hood of that. And hold it up there. Finish your tea. Come outside. I've got another job for you. Aye, okay. Here's a hand. Hello. Where on earth have you been? After finish my tea. You'll be pushing the bed. I don't do that. I don't mind no so fast. <laughs> Bring that thing in for me. 
Hi. Tom. Mm -hmm. I've a lass. Oh, huh? Sally. It's a bonny name. Aye. She's a bonny quine. Yes, she knew. I hope she's not one of those that go with you for your money. Oh, she does not need money. Because her dad's got a great big house and a car. I can see you've got your heat screwed on the right way. Aye. Have you any more scones? I'll get Bella to bake you some and see you keep out of trouble with that last new. You'll be half him then. Aye. Ching ching cheerio. Did I tell ye? Hey? I wasn't a dawdling, man. Don't know. I'd not tea with Tom. How many times have I told ye? If you're going to see someone else, tell me. I've been that worried. I'm half a sorry, mammy. I want to do it again. I promise. Aye. Did you get the messages? The bag? I was robbed. Oh, Donald. <laughs> Old Tom ate them. Now, the truth. You clout, my Hey. Love. I ate them. That's better. I didn't want you telling lies, Donald. I want them, Mammy. Aye. And just to help you remember, no telly for you the next day. Strict to bed. Ah. No, you're going straight to bed tonight, Donald. I'm fed up with it. I'm always telling you about it. My sister, a man, the best man. That's me, the bridesmaid. The best man kissed me. He never. He did so. Did he ask you to marry him? Yes. Can I be your bridesmaid? You'll be married to Donald by then. You will not get married. Oh, well, so. Come on, girls, back to work. Come on, Sally.
You. You Over took there. my seat. Over there. You took my seat. Come on, what a new Donald. Did I stand there? Got past you to look good for the fete day. Your belly, sir, again. I would be all wrecked if it wasn't for that buddy bell brewing. But he's our boss. The superintendent's our boss. But he's under superintendent. Does he stop you seeing your Jesse? Look, Donald, if I was to run off and seen Jesse every five minutes of the day, I'd get the sack. I wish you'd give me the sack. I'll make a deal with you. You do your work here. I'll keep your cabbages. You do your work here, and I'll let you take the pot plants I promised Miss Green for the decorating. I'll do it. I'll do it. Aye. Mr. Green. Mr. Green, it's time again. Put them over there, Donald. Just beside the window. I'll put one here, eh? No, just over here, thank you. You sure? Uh-huh. Do you think I'd get to work here, Miss Green? Leave your garden. Fed up with cabbages. Could you make one of these? <laughs> make a better job out than him. Right, let's <laughs> see you then. I grow cabbages.
Jengs. <laughs> Tough of the pops. Give me some <laughs> Madonna. No. Arm. Um, no. Arm. Um. Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> Why do you want to dance with her? <laughs> Sally. You were making eyes at her. What the hell were you? <laughs> I'll put on another record and we'll dance. The bell! The hell with the bell. That's not the way. No. Been here. We were learning to dance. Oh, aye. Go on. It was me and. Go on. Now, don't be silly now. Wait till you work. Why are you crying? <laughs> Mr. Brown. Oh, were you misbehaving? Dancing. I wouldn't be angry with you if you were only dancing. Come on now. No Salkin. He didn't like me dancing with Donald. Was Donald misbehaving? Are you sure? Okay. Come on then. about at lunchtime. Why did you reprimand Sally? Oh, I'm Donald. Oh, she said they were dancing. After the bell had gone. Well, it couldn't have been that long. She was in class a few minutes after I was. They were alone in the recreation room. And I've got a feeling they were doing more than just dancing. What's worrying you? Well, I think the relationship could become sexual. Do you think so? see it that way myself. Oh, come on, Betty. Well, not at the moment, anyhow. Well, the signs are all there, I mean, the way he runs after her. What exactly did you see them doing? Well, I'm not quite sure, mind you, but it seems to me there's up to a bit of hanky-panky. Not dancing? Well, there was a record all but... Uh... Well, it could have been quite innocent. Oh, well, I have my doubts. I'll have to put it on report. But that brings in the superintendent. Well, he has to be informed. Couldn't we handle it between ourselves? We can't afford to take that kind of a chance. There is my relationship with Sally. She was my first trainee. I know, and you did very well with her. But if you put her on report and he goes along with it... Anyway, you know what they're like with their relationships. Donald could lose interest in her tomorrow. Oh, you never know what that one, Donald. He's a bugger to wonder about. All right. But if I see anything that even hints... I won't let Sally out of my sight. Ah. Uh. I suppose I could put him on to making cement blocks with Mr. Robertson. If you take him out of the garden, he'll create merry hell. I suppose you're right. Um. Well, you just have to keep him by you. Look, I can tie him down. I'm not asking you to, am I? You'll just have to send someone over to keep an eye on him. No staff for that. Oh, do my best. Tell him he's promoted, eh? Under Gardner or something like that. And make sure he tags along with you all day. All right, I will. Strathfail, eh? May like Peter Heat prison. Play the 
fair play. Applauded. Does not. See if he's all right. And no more football for you until you learn to behave yourself. See if you can find a job for him, Mr. Fraser. Georgie, up you get it. Dono! Sally? Dono! Something going on here I should know about. So you think the relationship could become sexual, Bill? Well, it looks that way just now. I'll have to do something about it, then. Hang on, aren't we being a bit hasty? Well, the signs are all there, Betty. Well, they've been a nuisance, but no nothing... No fondling or exposing... I would have reported that. Have you, Bill? I, mean, I can't be absolutely sure, but uh, when they were dancing in the recreation room, uh, I think there was something. Really, Bill? I'm sorry, Betty, but we can't afford to take chances. Oh, definitely not. If you have any doubts at all, report it. What is there to report? Sally's been moody, slightly withdrawn. Sexual frustration. The lassie doesn't know what's happening to her. I'm afraid I disagree. They're just like a couple of kids. With adult emotions. Which is normal. Betty, for some obscure reason, the public expects a far higher standard of morals from the mentally handicapped than they would from themselves. But don't you think they're entitled to their friendships? Oh, of course. As long as it doesn't go any further. In certain circumstances, they could marry if they wanted to. I know that. This isn't practical. Both born mentally handicapped, marry, they're unable to practice or, or, or understand any method of contraception. They could bring another mentally handicapped child into the world. And even if the child were perfectly normal, there's still the problem. Who's going to look after the child? Or children, as the case may be. Oh, no. Just isn't the money or the resources or anything else. Aren't we denying them their rights? Maybe so. But we've got to be practical. <laughs>
superintendent said I had to give you this. Is this it? I don't know, Ken. Thank you. Thank you, Donald. Jesus! Sausages, eh? Ah! Ah! Donald, what are you doing with that pan? My body hands burnt off. Is it here? You can bounce it down. I'm starving with hunger. So you've been up to at the centre then? Nathan. Do you want to be sent to bed? Well, tell me. I just said bugger to Mr. Bruin. You did not. I did. Donald, put a fuck in to think. That's the hill end to swear in the hoose. I'm a bloody good swearer, though. I am black affronted with you. Ach, Bruin's eyes fixing in me. That's because you want to behave yourself. I do. Swearing at him. Do you call that behaving? Well. Hey, use your fork and knife. But I have to use them at the centre. And you do it here. Tea. Milk. Aye. Starting from tomorrow. If there's any more swearing at the centre, you'll need to get out at nights. to see the superintendent tomorrow afternoon. I miss half a day's pay because of you. What you have to do with your sweeties this week? That Bruin's a bugger. Fetch the use. You've been up to something, haven't you? Sally, I want to know. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up. Do as you're told. Where is she? In her room. Leave her? Yes, but... At best, she'll get over it. She had no idea. Now do you see why I need you at home? If she's going to go on like this, I'll have to come on shore. She used to be such a pleasure. I don't know what to do with her now. Thought it was a very good dinner, Eddie. Aye. The Swiss roll was lovely. I see you're uh, still sweet and Sally. Aye, well, I tell him, didn't I? Buddy Bruins feared to me. Is he? Aye. I tell him, if 
I don't get my seat aside, Sally, I'd bash him. You never. I had it. I'm gonna bash that buddy Georgie and I. I can bash Georgie. Aye, but you can't bash Bruin. Next time I see him, I'm gonna bash Bruni Saft. You are saying? I need some volunteers to mark out the football pitch. I'll get him, Mr. Bruin. You need it here. Under Gardner. That's a responsible job. Ah, it is. Right, come on, you lot. You heard Mr. Bruin. Well, come on. Eh, hey, I look after things here, Mr. Bruin. Mm. It's swearing that gets me down. I've tried anything to stop him, but it's hopeless. Well, you just have to accept it, Mrs. Bruce. Well, discourage him by all means, but. Uh, excuse me. Ah, oh, Mr. Mrs. Richmond. Come in, come in, please. This is Mrs. Bruce, Mr. Mrs. Richmond. Hello. Let's sit down, please. Well, you're in the oil rigs, I believe, Mr. Richmond. Yes, instruments engineer. That's interesting. What does that entail? Maintenance and generators, that sort of thing. You'll be away from home a lot of the time, are you? Yes. And how are you finding it up here, Mr. Richmond? All right, thank you. We didn't see you at the Parents Association meeting. Uh, no, I, I couldn't make it. I was decorating. Ah, yes. Well, it takes some time to get things ship -shape. I'm sure you'll come along to the next one, though. Yes, yes. Good. Well, now, the reason I asked you to come here, we've encountered a, a problem concerning Donald, Mrs. Bruce's son, mm. and uh, your daughter, Sally. Oh, what kind of problem? Well, Donald and Sally have uh, developed quite an affection for one another. We encourage the trainees to form their own friendships. We find this helps. At the same time, we... We observe, you know, we, we see how the relationship develops. However, I'm afraid that uh, Donald and Sally's relationship could become, and I stress the word could, become physical. Donald's near boy like that. What's happened? Oh, nothing's happened. <laughs> Perfectly safe. We have a very competent staff here who are trained in these matters. Well, you can understand our concern. Certainly, yes, of course. This is purely a precautionary step I'm taking to inform you of what's been going on. Donald and Sally live in the same town. They go about unescorted. Sally never goes out alone. Oh, Donald will no be allowed you to me sight. Me for a minute. Well, I would recommend it for the time being anyway. They go about closely chaperoned. I mean, it might cause problems at home, but, well, we're having problems down now. Oh, how's that? Well, she's being violent. Oh. I don't recall any record of that in the report. I should have told us, you know, we're here to help you at all times. Excuse me. Miss Green, yeah, I've got Sally Richmond's parents in my office. Could you come along here straight away, please? Thank you. Well, how long has she been like this, Mrs. Richmond? It's got worse during the last few weeks. Was it fit, so? Tantrums. Twice during the last time my husband was away. And uh... she just about wrecked the kitchen yesterday. Well, that is disturbing. You see, quite a lot of the 
antisocial behaviour we get from the trainees, especially in Sally's age group, can be attributed to some sexual problem. They fail to understand or they're completely unaware of it. And so it manifests itself in some other form. Regression, moods, violence. Come in. Miss Green, this is Mr. and Mrs. Richmond, Sally's parents. Pleased to meet you. Hello. 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 How are you, Mrs. Bruce? Fair worry to death about Donald. Oh, wouldn't worry about him. And Miss Green, now, Sally's parents tell me she's been having temper tantrums at home. Really? Well, she hasn't had any at the centre. You're quite sure of that? Well, yes, certainly. Apart from her group outings to the law, I'm with her all the time. Well, Mr. Brown takes that group. I'm sure he'd have mentioned. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Well, what's her behaviour pattern? Well, she's been a bit moody lately. And slightly withdrawn, but otherwise her progress has been excellent. I enjoy working with her. We have a good relationship. Oh, well, yes, well, we've noticed the improvement. But... You're away from home quite a lot, aren't you? Yes. She might be missing you. Could be the reason. Is there any chance of you spending some time on shore, Mr. Richmond? Well, it's not too easy to arrange, but... Well, you don't think this relationship will eventually develop? Yeah, well, one can never be 100% sure in these matters. Oh, dear. Thank you, Miss Green. That's fine, thank you. Could I just say that I think the relationship should be allowed to continue. There's been no concrete reason to suggest otherwise. We, we can't hate that. I mean, if one of them could happen to Sally. Well, certainly not. Uh, well, I, we won't hold you back from your class, Miss Green. Thanks very much. Can that young lady be trusted? Completely. She's a very good instructor. She's one of the most promising we've had. Well, what do you intend to do about them? Well, for the time being, let's just watch. And if our fears become reality, I'm afraid that one of them might have to leave. You, you can't send Don a Loire. The nearest centre's 40 mile. Or his name Marco, but he's our here in the world. I think we should take Sally away from here. Well, now, Jean, I mean, uh, Well, of course, you're quite entitled to do that, but personally, I would advise against it. Why? Well, a great deal of good work's been done with Sally here, you know. But I think that to take her away suddenly could bring about a complete reversal. Well, she'd be better to stay then. What do you think? I mean, for no reason at all, the relationship could end. Just like that. Well, if we can be sure... Good. Meanwhile, we'll keep an eye on them and hope that things turn out for the best, eh? The greats are looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, the fete. You'll come, I hope. Oh, well, in the circumstances, I oh, think... Of course we'll come. Good, that's fine. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. ask if you'll be here tomorrow, Mrs. Bruce. Mr. Fritz? Never. Don would never forgive me. <laughs> He's on a bit of his gear. He's at through doors. And so he should be. Oh, look out. Here they come. Oh, well. Hi, Donald. Uh -huh. Your mother's going to hold me in the bus tonight to look after her. Aye. Chang, chang, cheerio. All right, Donald. Is he ready? Anyway, anyway. Here I'm up for it. How did it go? Look, Betty, in future, when you're called in to speak to parents on a delicate subject, would you confine yourself to facts and not opinions? Eh? Do I have myself clear? Crystal. Good? No, not good. What? Two people feel for each other and we come between them. You deal with these cases every day. You must know you're simplifying the problem. Don't they have the same rights as everyone else? To love? To sex? You're asking them to suffer. It's nothing compared to what Sally would suffer if she had a child and it had to be taken away from her. 
She doesn't have to become pregnant. I see. You'd have her sterilised, would you? No, a planned programme of contraception. They couldn't follow that through, Betty. We would supervise it. The public wouldn't accept it. You mean you wouldn't? Look, Betty. When Strathvale opened, it might surprise you, but Bill and I fought to bring in the mixing of male and female trainees at a time when the practice was to keep them segregated. Oh, fine. The, the opposition was unbelievable. Press, councillors, MPs hell-bent on gaining a few votes. The clergy. But we held out. It was a long uphill battle and we won. Great. You fought your battle. Now I want to fight mine. Not as long as you're at Strathvale, Betty, no. Well, look, there's too much at stake. I'd, all these years of hard work, I'm not just going to throw all that away. Now, you might be ahead of your time, I don't know. But meanwhile, let it be. Fancy going to Ibiza? What brought that on? Advertised in the paper. Fortnight in the sun. Not just now. She's too much of a handful. You always say that. Well, she was okay at Brighton. Sand pies, candy floss, and winkles. She thoroughly enjoyed herself. Remember? for you. No, come on. Come on. Sally. Oh, you little devil. Bart, All right, Come on. All right. Come on. Where are you, mommy? It's up new. My body hair. Donald, there you go again, swearing. I can leave pretty much a day with you. Comb my hair. That's the bonny boy I see in the mirror. That's me, Mammy. Don't know. So it is. Mammy. Sometimes I think you're daft. In you go, Donno. That's it. Malaises. Donald, you're a proper scanner. You should be able to do them yourself. I can't. The instructor at the centre told me you could. But I like you best, Mammy. Best of all? Aye. Better than Sally? Well... Hear that box of chocolates to get to Sally. That's my birthday present from you. But I like chocolates. You do not get presents to take them back again. Come on, there's the bus we'll have to hurry. Come on, Dono. Please, 
to be here again the second time this year. You have a very persuasive chairman. The last time that I came, it was the first um, this time, it's the first time that I've been involved in opening a fate. But you look at that. It was just a wee wee thing when I planted it. Look at it now. Big, bonny and strong. Just like me. Aye, just like yourself, Donald. Turn I was a prize for you. Now, don't I look now? <coughs> you can turn run now. Your real birthday present. Don't know. That's the bonniest present I've ever had. I can't you would like it. I did. Can I hear my chocolates back now? I'm great pleasure, therefore, in declaring the fate open. Hey, Donal! Donal! What time does the performance start? About half an hour. I'll give you a chance to look around. Right, you know how to attach it on, do you? Miss Green. Mary is fell and hurt her foot. Where is she? In the workshop. Well, go and fetch the nurse and tell her where I am, all right? OK. Hi, uh, Sally. Go into the big tent. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Right. Join the others and tell them to stay there till I get back. Have you got that? Off you go. Are you fascinated with that now? Aye. I hold that girl up. Present for you. Can I get one? Sally. Come on. I think the mum and bird will come back. Birds love their babies. Have any 
have you seen no. it? No. No. Do you like babies, Donald? I. Little ones. I don't like big ones, though. They shout at you and call you names. They call me names, too. I bet I didn't let them call me names. If they call me names, I slap their lugs, kick their asses. They soon stop. Don't know. You are brave. If they call your names, I'll kick their asses for you. You greedy bugger, you. I'm not going to kick any asses for you. You stupid, you. Me, Donald. Aye. Would you marry me? I would. But my mum needs me to take in the coal. My mummy needs me to wash the dishes. You don't wash dishes. You live in a posh house. <laughs> I can. We could play at being married. How'd you do that, Donald? Easy. You know Big Aggie? That lives next to me. The lady that gives you sweets? Aye. Her and me used to play at being married. Never. <laughs> I would add. You attack your knickers doing fast. I wouldn't do that. I only take them down to we. <laughs> Honest? Aye. And you attack your braziers half an hour. Boys mustn't touch them. Big Aggie like that. Does your mum know about her? Then I'll tell my mommy, Sally. Then I'll tell my mommy. I'm going to tell your mommy. Sally. <laughs> Sally are missing. But it's all right, I've got things organised. Are you sure? Aye. Well, uh, where are the Richmonds? I'll see you. <laughs> How the hell are you expected to find them amongst all this? I'm buggered to find them. Have you found them? Not yet. Have you contacted the police? Well, it's not a police matter, Mrs. Richmond. Where is she? Where's she gone? Mr. Richmond, why don't you take your wife to the refreshment tent and have some tea? Carry on with the search, you two, will you? 
Our daughter's missing. You offer us a cup of tea. I don't believe it. All right, then. I'll make an announcement over the tannoy. Mr. Brune, have you seen Donald? I'm afraid not, Mrs. Bruce. Oh, Mr. Dean, I'm fine. Excuse me. Please report to the barkeep's desk. Have anyone who's seen them, please report them whereabouts to the staff. Yes, Donald. Have you got any brothers and sisters, Donald? No. That's because your daddy's in heaven. My daddy's not in heaven. Why haven't I got any brothers and sisters? I know. God gives you what you want. And I've heard Mum say, oh, thank God I'll never have another baby. Why? She said if she has, she'll drop dead. We'll sell the house and move. I'm not staying here any longer. Gee, for God's sake, calm down. Well? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid we still haven't found them. Why haven't you called the police? <sighs> Look, Mr. Richmond, I can assure you... You're always that... assuring people, aren't you? Well, if you haven't called them, then I will. Well, I don't really... Mr. Buckingham! Mr. Buckingham! It's all right. Oh. Don't know. Don't know. Bobby, I can't wait to go to see Dad. Don't know, but you've been dying. We're going to have it. All right, she's a girl. Right. Too Sorry. late for that now. Did he touch you? Tell your mother, Sally. Mr. Richmond, I think it's it. Sally, did Donald do anything to you? We, we saw Bob Barbies. Oh, I don't know. We saw babies. He has. I know he has. Quiet, please. Sally, what were you doing in the woods? We must have her examined by a doctor. No. Listen, Donald, I want the truth. Did you do the same to Sally as you did with Aggie? Oh, I can about her. She wouldn't have let me. He'd say anything, wouldn't he? They haven't have done anything. How do you know? I know when he's lying. I don't believe it. I want her examined by a doctor. Well, she can be examined by the nurse here, Mrs. Richmond. Oh, let's get her out of here. But nothing's no, happened. No, no, just leave us alone. We'll take care of her. Where's she going? Oh, Donald. Oh, 